Hey everyone, I'm the Tom. Welcome to my gaming channel. And this time, I'm playing another episode of Need for Speed Underground 2. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and return to explore mode right away. So last time we unlocked a unique spoiler. I get, no, a, a unique vinyl. The spoiler was the last time. It was the one before that, I should say. Uh, actually, we have a hidden drag race here. So we're gonna get the TT right, right away. Uh, here we go. And let's see how it goes. Um, so here we are. It was one lane next to me, it wasn't on my lane. Oh my goodness, that was so close actually. I gotta get that guy. But am I? I'm not, because uh, I couldn't change lane there. You can do it. You cannot do it. Um, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Have I actually installed the level 2 turbo upgrade on a TT yet? If not, then that might be the solution to my problem. Oh yeah, that was behind the finish line. Oh yeah, got it. Did I unlock something now? Yes, I did. New mirrors. Uh, let's go to a performance shop and see if we actually have installed the level 2 turbo upgrade on this car. Goodness, that was so bad. That was better. Let's not race this guy because I want to get to the performance shop quickly. And then I might do an outrun race. Um, 
man. I hate that there's so much traffic up these roads. Come on, look at that. So let's go right here. This particular performance shop only offers tier 1 and 2 upgrades, so you can't install uh, tier 3 uh, upgrades here. Oh! Wow. Yeah. So this is. Uh, this explains why I was feeling kind of a lack of power compared to the other racers. It does feel faster now. Yeah, it really feels faster. Um, let's see, where am I gonna go? There is no more drag race anywhere. So that basically means I don't need the TT anymore for now. Oh no, wait. That's not true. I'm gonna chase after this guy and uh, challenge him for an Ultron race. Because now with the new turbo, the TT is or should actually be able to beat. Uh, those those racers no problem oh, oh, where what the hell that counts as me being behind it didn't What the hell is going on? Well, he knows that my car is ridiculously fast on a straight li in a straight line, but not so fast through the corners. Which is why he decides to take a lot of corners. Oh man, I just messed it up. I think I just lost it here. Or maybe... Ah, that traffic was so bad for me there. Couldn't take the, the, the inside line through this corner. He's actually not pulling away from me. I mean, how could he? 
when when my car is actually pretty damn powerful. Um, yeah, I hate that there's always so much traffic in those races. Oh come on! I would rather you just turn when I say you should turn. Come on! There's so much on this steer. Now I'm in the lead though. So I'm gonna take this corner and yeah, just disappear. Couldn't accept this outrun race, really. <laughs> oh, my goodness. First he crashed, then I crashed. Now I'm pulling away with nitrous, and there's just tons of traffic ahead. Um, there's there's another one right in front of me. just blast down this straight and hopefully gain some more meters out of it and we do oh yeah a unique performance upgrade So I gotta go here. That's at least where the unique performance upgrade is gonna be. Or the start of the time race. Or the race against the clock I should say. Am I supposed to go here? Yes. No, actually I wasn't. So this is Cole Harbor territory. Uh, we're gonna go right at, at this intersection. Really, there's always a traffic behind each and every single corner. Oh, not behind this one. Funny game. Oh, yeah, here's, here's an accident. Sure, I gotta turn around right off the, right off the bat, because otherwise this, these races wouldn't be complete if they didn't force you to turn around to make your time uh, getting to make your mission even harder. And then the freaking GPS sends you the most terrible route possible. Oh 
Oh, come on, freaking Supra, don't get in my way. It didn't. But here we are. Okay. Enter shop. What the? Oh, I'm probably... Yeah, I'll have to do this again with my Miata if I want the parts for the Miata. But this wasn't even a close race. Uh, I even had like 30 seconds left, so I'm easily gonna do it with the Miata. I'm very sure that I already have the level 2 turbo upgrade installed on the Miata. I just have to get used to the handling of this thing again. Because there's just no one to steer. In at least 90% of, of the corners. And this time I'm actually gonna turn around first. And then I'm gonna just floor it and have a head start. I was going a little bit too fast but I managed to break in time and uh, and I made it easily through that corner yeah this is gonna be easy Here we go. Easier turbo or uh, brakes. Uh, I'm gonna go with the turbo. It does feel a little bit faster, but not much. It's got so much grip though, you can't unsettle it like the TT by just doing such a Scandinavian flick and and, and break uh, into the into the actual corner. It, you just, it, it just won't let go. <laughs> Does feel really fast for for a tight track like this, though. Not only because of its bad handling, but also because there's now quite a lot of power. Come on, yeah, you're just approaching the corners way faster than, than before. So you think you're doing the exact uh, the right speed, but you're actually going above that.
119.83 for four laps. Man. <laughs> Did I unlock something here? No, I didn't. Come on, it just can't go straight. That was a burnout, I guess. Oh, there's some money lying around here. Thank you. There's some more here. There's also a URL race here. So let's do that. which I'm gonna do in this corner because there is simply no other car that handles as well as the Miata maybe the Corolla but certainly not the Celica or any other front wheel drive car for that matter So, uh, you know, the simple fact is that uh, front wheel drive cars will understeer, and rear wheel drive cars, well, at least light rear wheel drive cars, won't. And the Miata is one such car. And the Corolla is one such car, whereas the other rear drive cars like the uh, Ford Mustang and the Pontiac GTO, they're just heavy. And the same goes for the 350Z. So, yeah, the 350Z uh, handles decently, but not, but not as well as the Corolla and the Miata. But what I like about the the game in general is that, you know, yeah, sure, there's cars like the Miata and the Corolla that handle superbly well. And, but to compensate for that, there's cars like the Audi TT or the Pontiac GTO that are just straight line rockets. And then there's cars like the Nissan Skyline or the Mitsubishi Evo that can, that are a good all-rounders, but they have no particular strength. And the uh, Nissan 240SX is kind of disappointing, a little bit. It's not that fast in a straight line and it's not that fast through the corners either. I guess you could count it another all-rounder, but it's not that good. Sadly. Um, anyway, we're done with this race. I think there's gonna be another one. And yes, there is. Again, the Celica took the took the lead at the start.
but uh, I overtook it in the first corner. And I'm in the lead. Missed that apex horribly. Almost got that one, but I, uh, but I went wide because I was going too fast into the corner. Uh, happens, but shouldn't happen. I can go flat out through here. No, not quite. Oh, yeah, someone had an accident. So through these corners you can't really beat the Miata. That is just borderline impossible even though someone's catching up there. Yeah, now they're falling behind again. So here we go, flat out through here. Flat out through here. And uh, there goes the jump again. That looks cool. And uh, I just crossed uh, the finish line. We get two more laps. A break here. Uh, I went in there too fast, so yeah, bad things happened. The worst of all is that this guy is actually right, uh, right up my ass now. Gonna use some nitrous here and some more nitrous here. Still gonna go flat out through here, but not through here. Oh, that was not so good. Whatever, though. Pretty damn clean. Come on, this is the last lap. Just don't mess it up. Finish line is gonna be right here. Oh, yeah, one another five thousand. That feels good. Um, what do we got? Some new cars unlocked. I saw some free cash here. No. Uh, let's see what what do we got? We got a drift race down here. Peace. 
sorry guys, I had to pause there for a second. Um, anyway, we're gonna go to this drift race right away. And... What? Where the hell is this GPS sending me? Gotta go, and go straight on and to the left now. And then it's gonna be right here. Oh yeah, that looks like a fun drift track with a lot of hairpins. But you know, with three other cars on, on the same track, it's gonna be... It could become pretty annoying. So, uh... That that went pretty not so fantastic because I'm pretty damn far uh, behind. Not ahead, but behind. Now now I'm ahead though. crash at least so the first lap is almost done we're gonna have like 60 to 65 thousand score 68 let's try and beat that on the second lap Which means we're gonna exceed like a hundred and thirty seven thousand score total. Ah, uh, not not that way though. Yeah, this worked pretty well. Oh yeah. Actually, I'm starting to doubt I'll make it. Oh, come on. Well. Whatever, we won, quite clearly. Um, I think that's gonna be enough for this episode. And w that's why I'm gonna end it right here. Uh, actually, we unlocked... Oh man, we gotta go for that level 3 ECU right away. So let's just go right here. Oh yeah, look at those strat improvements. I'm gonna put it into the TT right away as well, because otherwise I would be an idiot. And if I forgot about another... Holy shit. This thing's got a lot of power now.
Is that still the, the burnout right from the start? It apparently it wasn't, but again, man, this thing feels powerful now. <laughs> you can just do this all day. Okay. Let's just go to the garage and <laughs> and um, select the TT now. <coughs> Excuse me. And get the ECU installed right away. Man, I I love this. It's gonna make this this car even faster. Yeah, the, the kilometers per hour just, they just fly by, 180, 90, 200, 210, 220, to almost 230 there. <laughs> you can go watch the, I believe, second episode of... Uh, uh, of of Need to Speed Underground 2 in my channel, which is the first uh, of the of the playthrough, and compare the acceleration of this car with the acceleration of my Miata right off the bat. <laughs> if you really want to. And now I'm actually gonna go here and. Uh, not go on the highway. I'm actually gonna end this, this episode right here. If you enjoyed, please click the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.